Alrighty guys, real quick, let's talk. Y'all see this Dodge Charger? Y'all see this brand new bumper? Uh, I wouldn't say brand new, but the car is in an accident, right? Now, it's, got, it's in for a cooling leak. Look what I got right here. You know why I'm replacing this? Because whoever did this body shop work neglected or either didn't care. Now, first of all, you see this condenser bit, right? See how it's pried open. Look at all this cooling right here. A customer went to drive their car, cooling everywhere, start overheating. Look at that radiator, guys. Y'all see that? See that? I poured cooling in and all the cooling was just coming out of there, off the side. So, uh, I can't remember the technical name for this right here, this part of the radiator. But this all busted open. So, did it happen in the accident? I don't know. Even this, I might need a fan. Yeah, you see that, that connect, that point right here? The fan won't even connect. Yeah, so it was a lot of damage up here. I don't know, man. Uh, this condenser, I'm sure they can survive. They didn't want to do that, but uh, let's see. Alrighty, guys i got the old one out guys i'm literally at all i cannot believe about like i say the airbag sensors are not even what about this side yeah they're just hanging man so this body shop literally let this car go like this all this damage look at this freaking radiator i mean you don't even i guess they didn't put cooling in it they are only interested in body work okay so this thing's been leaking this right here just busted all the hell as soon as i pulled cooling in it, it just pulled right out yeah, I got a new radiator, but I'm just tripping off how any shop, forget the fact that it's a body shop in Cousin Pookie, how any shop could operate like this. Yeah, they just did this bumper. Look how shiny that bumper is. So they put all this on, and this condenser is bent. It's bent all the hell. Yeah, they didn't authorize me to do the condenser. They said, just fix the overheating problem. Now this stuff going to have a problem bolting up the way it's supposed to. I'm going to have to connect the condenser to the new radiator, but uh, I'm going to make it do what it do, man. I just can't believe this happens. Alrighty, guys. Real quick. Now, I had a guy in the comment section ask me, uh, since when did it become normal to replace such engine parts as an oil pump? Usually, that's unheard of, right? <laughs> and I had a guy in the comment section attached to his comment uh, explain why. And it was a damn good explanation. It started happening when we started adding electronics to mechanical parts such as oil pumps okay this is an oil pump yeah you normally don't hear that kind of chatter amongst mechanics yeah i had to replace the oil pump po6dd guys can be a result from this sensor solenoid uh failing okay which will require no you can't replace this by itself it's just nobody gonna go through all that trouble to gain access to this just to replace this they're gonna do the whole pump now you see all this sludge build up so yeah a lot of that is from neglect guys here's the oil pan look at all this sludge all right so it's not just the parts it's not just the solenoid don't blame all of this on the solenoid a lot of this is customer neglect so change your oil on time and a lot of this you can fix yourself already guys jeep liberty y'all remember the jeep liberty yes it's like a 06 model guys now where is she in because she have some serious issues guys y'all see that check engine light those fault codes represents transmission problem. Look at the mileage, 215,000 miles. Guys, yes, now y'all know me, I am an ex-transmission man. And I say ex simply because we don't overhaul transmissions anymore. We simply replace them, guys. I don't even know where my tools at to overhaul transmission. There have been days where I take this transmission out, overhaul it, and bring it back to new. Y'all see that fluid? Now, the color is brownish, guys. It should be candy out or red, but that is not the main problem. The issue here is, Y'all can't smell it, but I can. It is burnt. It is cooked. This transmission has been overheated. Uh, I even couldn't even call this neglect. I'm not sure why. It's just old and has ran its course, guys. But you can help prolong the life of your transmission by servicing it when you're supposed to. So I'm going to have to price her out of transmission, guys. There's nothing I can do for this, man. Y'all stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, real quick. Y'all see this old model Jeep Liberty, all right? I sent a guy here to help her to jump this thing off, bring it in the shop. They said it was dead. He got my jump box. He come out here, and then he come back in the shop and tell me, uh, that's a no-go. Something don't look right. He don't know what to do. And, guys, I'm kind of glad he came back and uh, asked me about this because I want y'all to look at something. Y'all see this? This battery, guys. Typical battery, right? <laughs> On each battery, there will be a positive side and a negative side. His problem was he didn't know which side was positive and which side was negative. That's why I'm glad he came and got me, guys, because you can destroy this or you can destroy the electrical system by putting it on the wrong port. Take a look at this. All right. Nowhere. Both of these are black. Normally, typically, we'll look at the color, but both of these are black. And normally, when it's still hard to find, I would just trace the wiring cable. But both of these join into bigger harness. So how do you tell? All right. I don't know, guys. Well, <laughs> turn out, just do this, guys. Look up under here. You can see a plus right here, and you can see a negative right here. 
Alrighty guys, real quick, y'all see this 2016, 2016 Grand Caravan. Alright, y'all see that uh checking the light. Well, how many miles on here? 144, 44, 44. Alright guys, I want y'all to look at something. Y'all see this code right here, P0420. Now, from what I'm told, she never had a tune-up, guys. Again, let me show you this. Y'all see that light? That is a check engine light, guys. If you and the code is for a cat converter. She has never had her spark plug replaced. 100 over 100,000 miles. These plugs supposed to be replaced at 100,000 miles. I think that's a little excessive myself. But I'm gonna tell you something that can contribute to an early depth of a cat converter. Yes, spark plugs. Okay. Yes, guys. Uh, when your spark plugs not firing the way they supposed to, they could send unburned fuel through your cat. That could ruin your cat's life. Uh, it could overheat the cat. And ruin the efficiency of the cat. And guys, these computers are no jokes, okay? They smart enough to pinpoint that, all right? Alrighty, man. Here we go again, man. I'm pissed off, man. This is why, guys. Y'all see this? Okay, now I'm obligated. When I go check out a car, this is a personal customer of mine. I told her oil leaking from the off at the depth of housing. This is what she go and get. Now, I get a customer the right to get me their own part. I'm going to put on what you give me, okay? But look at the bill of this. You can see it's plastic, right? With an aluminum cooler. Now, it's similar to the OEM, but the OEM is better plastic <laughs> okay yes yeah, way better than this but uh, i don't know man if anybody ever used this this name brand i know dermot make aluminum ones i'm not real fond of dermot now who is this simoleon y'all got let me hear you hear me out guys you got one chance okay if you fail me your days are numbered Alrighty guys, I want y'all to take a look at something. Y'all see this? Yes, guys. Y'all see this? It has an EGR cooler, which means this is a Generation 3 Pentastar 3.6, guys. We just replaced this. Now, it can't, shouldn't be hard to find out exactly why we replaced it, right? We got the engine horse right out of here. I think they took this out of a Grand Cherokee, maybe, but I want to show y'all something, guys, because this is terrible. Y'all see this? Yeah, y'all see all of this? This is sludge, guys. Yes, this is a no-no. You know what this is from? lack of oil changes guys this engine takes zero w20 okay fully synthetic oil so they was not changed do you know how long you got to go with that oil changes for your engine to sludge up like this and you use synthetic that means they went extremely a long time without getting their oil changed so i wonder if they shot i wonder if insurance aftermarket want to pay for this this is the kind of stuff that we go through guys and y'all be yelling out how car makers suck no some of the customers suck look at this